Lottery tags across the western states are what a lot of hunters dream of drawing someday. These tags are one in a million and usually have a longer hunting season. Ashley Smith was the lucky Utah hunter who drew the Utah Sportsman's Elk Tag. With this tag, she was able to hunt from September 1st to January 15th of the next year. Ashley and Jeremy spent a ton of time on different mountain ranges throughout the state and looked over numerous bulls in hopes of finding a true giant. In mid-September, Ashley was in a car accident that nearly took her life. She came away at the broken pelvis and some other injuries, but that wasn't going to stop her from finishing her hunt. After the accident, she was determined to keep hunting the bulls on her hit list, and when her number one bull, Bigfoot, showed up, the hunt was on. I just found a bedded about 700 yards away on this ridge back. She's on her way up right now, so hopefully she can get it done. I know she will, so stay tuned. Watch this bad boy in the dirt. Excited? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we'll get this over with? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do it. Found the bull last or yesterday and he never did present us with a shot so sat here all day waiting and finally came out last night in a suitable location and we just couldn't get couldn't get her up here in time so came back this morning and I finally glassed him up and bedded him down in these same pines he came out of yesterday so she's uh trying to get her up here to me right now and gonna be tough I mean she got in a car wreck earlier this year during the hunt so can't really walk she can hop on one leg but they're packing her up here right now so stay tuned hopefully he'll come out in the same face he came out last night and we'll be able to put him down Ashley, she's a great shot. She got a broken hip. She's a trooper. She's tougher now, so we'll see what happens. You feel confident? Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna kill the biggest bull you've ever seen in about two hours. It's too bad we can't tell him back. I've hunted bulls long enough to know that when you do all that and you get ready, he's gotta go out the other way. He might. <laughs> no, we'll hope for the best. We'll get him down.
Got him. Got him. Got him. Hit him. He's hit. <laughs> because of the steep, nasty terrain and Ashley's injury, we had no choice but to come back in the morning and retrieve the giant bull. Shooter was set up for 20 minutes waiting for the shot. Everybody took their coats off and covered her up to keep her warm so when he finally turned broadside, <laughs> the rest is going to be history. We'll know what it is when we get there now. Right. Let's go check him out. Not only are guys crazy, look at that. I hope her mother don't see this. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, a lot of guys showed up to help make this happen. Otherwise it wouldn't have in this case, so. Hey look, there's an elk. Holy, <laughs> that's what you've been after this whole time. get much more massive than that. That's why he looked like a spider coming from the tree speed. <laughs> when I drew the tag, well when I read that it was successful, like I didn't believe it because he told me nobody ever draws it. You know, you're just throwing your money away and so I had my mom come double check me before I ever even told him. <laughs> and he didn't believe me and then I told my dad and he didn't believe me either, but anyway, when this started out, they was all gun ho gotta find the biggest bull in the state, you know, and I told Jeremy, I said, you know, this is my first hunt, like, I want the experience, and, and so this experience has been more than just getting an elk. I've had a ton of awesome experiences. No, really, though, I think I've had over 10 different people packing me up the mountain trying to make this happen for me. It's been <laughs> awesome. Good team effort. And I'm lucky that I had a lot of people around. Yep. Thank you. Congratulations, Ashley, on one of the biggest bulls ever harvested by a woman. He's a bull of many lifetimes. Look at that.